Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, bringing you all the exciting action of the Jaguar Football Program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, the Communities of Color Network for a Tobacco-Free Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, and Jerry Lane, Buick, and GMC. Hello and welcome to the Jaguar Football Show, where each week we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program, of course, with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, we come to everybody every week from Le Bon Ton Bar and Grill, 8342 Perkins Road. Uh, come in, have some food, have some beverages, and have a little football conversation with Coach and the fine folks who come out and join us each week at the show taping. Coach, first question. 44-38 homecoming loss to Alcorn, but looking at the game, they have a mobile quarterback who was pretty good. The kid got three, four, five, eight yards to pop. When you know you got a mobile quarterback, can't we alter the defense to where somebody spies him or keys on him so that he's not gashing us? Because it seems like sometimes we have the, the team contained, but then that quarterback freelanced and he get a first down and keep a, keep a drive moving? Well, you know, exactly. You know, you got to do a better job of, of rush lanes, and guys got to do a better job with their eyes of understanding that, you know, he will take off. You know, you look at the film, and you see we got four guys over here and one guy over here versus a mobile quarterback, and it allowed for some, for some openings, and he got some positive yards. For the most part, you know, during the second half, we had corralled him. And then, you know, late in the fourth quarter, he got loose again. So, you know, you definitely got to do a better job of facing those mobile quarterbacks. Second observation, Coach, looked like you had a great special teams night, particularly Demetrius Carter with two block uh, punts and uh, both led to points for the Jaguars. Is that something you guys have been working on in practice to get more production from special teams, or was it just a great night for special teams? Well, exactly. You know, we practice special teams all the time and just trying to put together the best game plan that give us a chance to take advantage of some of the opposing team weaknesses. And we did a great job on our, on our SWAT team. They're getting some blocks, and they were crucial because we needed those to change the uh, aspect of the game. Okay. Well, there you have it from Coach Dawson Odoms himself. Let's jump into some highlights from Saturday's game against Alcorn State Braves on homecoming 2013. Coach, it was a beautiful day. A lot of folks were on the yard having a good time, and uh, the game started. Of course, there you see Dre Joseph hitting Willie Quinn. Uh, Coach, sometimes I look at it and I think, are we, are we getting the ball enough to Willie Quinn? Well, you know, they're going to do what most defenses are taught to do. They're going to take away some of your better players. And when you look at it, they're tipping the coverage to Willie Quinn and, and to Lee Dawson. You're going to see some other guys stepped up and made some big plays. There you look at it. We're on defense. Defense holding stout. Coach, that was a great hit right there. And that's what you expect from McDuffie, a name we have called all season long. You gotta enjoy having a guy like that in your squad. Well, exactly. He's brought some great leadership to our secondary and brought him a hitter's mentality to our defense. The Braves set up and they score first on a pass to make the score 7-0. The Jaguars set up and Dre gets hit, but before he gets hit, he gets the ball away. And coach, that's one of the exciting young people on your team right there um, as he hits Willie Quinn. We talk about Quinn all the time. You just can't keep continuing to talk about him. Here, they want a punt. Uh, Carter gets the block. Menard, a name we'll call a lot tonight, he recovers it for his first touchdown of the night. He had to be pleased by his effort, but then on the kickoff, we give up a 50-yard return. Well, exactly. Bad rush lanes in our coverage, and they found the, the hole in it and then scored it. There you see the Braves on a the move. They score for the second time on the night. And at this juncture, the score is 14-7. This young man gave you a decent night. Fab right, he gashes him for nine, and he comes back on a pass from Dre Joseph for 12. I like this young man's effort, Coach. 
Zach, he's getting better and getting more comfortable with our offense. You know, I, I still think the, his best football is ahead of him. And there he comes back. Drake Joseph hits Menard for a 23-yard touchdown. Coach, true freshman from Broke Ridge, he really had a breakout game. Well, he's an exciting young man to watch on the football field. Six foot four, about 200 pounds, great receiving skills. You know, he's only going to get better, and you're starting to see some of those young players step up. Coach, this is what I thought was the play of the game. D-Train Lindsay on a great interception for a return for a touchdown, and it's negated by a penalty. Coach, would that have been a play of the game to you? Well, exactly. I think it would have gave us the momentum and put us up front and probably would have changed the outcome of the game. Your defense stands stout, though, and doesn't let the Braves score as they end up with three points and uh, kick a field goal. They come right back, and the defense is still holding strong until right here they get a nice little push, and this guy drives into the end zone. Coach, at this point, the game was kind of getting away from us. It was like 24-14. Were you a little worried? that the Jaguars were not playing up to their capabilities? Well, yeah, you know, didn't like the energy that we possessed in the first half, but, you know, we regrouped and we came out and played a much better second half, and, you know, you'll get a chance to see that in a few minutes. Well, when we come back, we'll look at second half highlights. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show. Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow! Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to one hundred thousand dollars. Enter our second chance drawings, and you could win a two thousand thirteen Saints game day prize package, autograph Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first-name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you. Like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There's just one thing missing from my Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Jaguar football show. Coach, coming out of halftime, we're down for the first time in about three, four games, 24-14. Strange place for you because we've been up uh, for a couple of games. What do you tell your team at halftime to get them ready to charge for that second half? Well, we just told them that, you know, we got to go out and execute. You know, everything's there. We're going to stick with our game plan, make some, some minor adjustments, and let's see if we can't go out here and get a stop, get the ball back to our offense, and See if we can't put some points on the board and chip away at this deficit. Well, let's look at the second half highlights from the Southern University Alcorn State game, homecoming 2013. Braves get the ball, got a good tackle there by Balancier. 
for no gain. Then he comes right back with another good tackle. Anthony Ballon seemed like he had a good game, Coach. Did he grade out pretty good on film? Uh, yes, you know, he had a very good game. You know, energy was there. You know, he made a lot of good plays for us. Unfortunately, we give up a 52-yard touchdown, and the Alcorn Braves are on the move at this point, 31-14, and I'm sure it was a quiet A.W. Mumford Stadium. Willie Quinn gets a 30-yard return to pop a little life into the Jaguars, and then Dre Joseph rushes for nine. Then, unfortunately, Coach, I don't know what happened right here. Did the, did the punter miss the, miss the uh, snap, or was it just a bad snap all the way around? A uh, bad snap. It was low and sort of rolled up into his arm. And, of course, that means a turnover, and the, the Braves get it with good field position. But, unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, the Jaguars hold, and they punt. Drake comes back and hits Jones for 18 yards. Then Drake comes back and hits his favorite receiver, Doss, for 21 yards. Then Tillery gets into the act, and he'll give us 12 yards up the middle of the field. Coach Leonard Tillery looked like he kind of disappeared in this game. Well, since he was coming off a big game of 32 carries and 100 plus yards, you know, we only got a chance to get it to him 10 times. Well, there you have it. Dre Joseph passes to Nico Talbert for eight, and Pittman makes the kick. At this point, the score is 31 to 21. The Braves got the ball, and the Jaguar defense is Johnny on the spot with a good tackle by Franchot West and uh, Brown. And then Gibbs comes back, and there's another quarterback hurry by Brown. And then here you have the second punt of the night by Carter. Coach, he was just all over it on uh, this night. Carter would just gave great effort to you, huh? Exactly, and that's what you got to have when you're talking about special teams. One of the exciting new names for the Jaguars, Justin Morgan, takes it in for a nine-yard touchdown. And the Braves come back on the uh, uh, missed pass right there. And then they rush. Coach, I was really impressed with the Braves quarterback. He's pretty mobile. Looks like he was a tall kid, thin, though. Yes, he probably was about six foot five, about 190 pounds. Six five quarterback. Wow. And the swag. There you see him getting sacked. And here's a play. Dre hits him in stride. That's Menard again for a 53-yard touchdown. Pittman makes the extra point. At this point, the Jaguars are coming back. It's 35-31. And uh, the, the crowd is back into it, and it's homecoming on the yard. Dre hits Menard again, and then Tillery rushes for 11. Coach, at this point, the momentum had swung, and the Jaguars looked like they were going to pull out a victory. Well, yes, we had an opportunity right there to go down the field and try to get some points and make it a two-possession game. We balled down on offense, gave it back to them, and they went down the field and was able to punch it back in. As Coach said, you saw Williams rush for a 33-yard touchdown. Drake comes back and hits Morgan for 11, and he hits Doss for 7. And he comes back and hits Doss for 13, and then Doss for another 15. And the Jaguars on the move. In between this, though, Coach, Drake missed a wide-open Willie Quinn on a, on a nice little out route that would have been a touchdown. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get that touchdown. We did get good effort by Tillery on this 14-yard play. And then Pittman hits a nice 38-yard field goal uh, with 16 seconds left to make the score 38-38. And right here you see Dre getting sacked in overtime period. And then Dre throws an interception over Doss's head. And um, Alcorn gets the ball back, and they actually score on their first possession on a 25-yard touchdown. Final score, Alcorn State 44, Southern University 38. What was Dawson Odom's thought after the game, Coach? Uh, no hard-fought victory. We came back third overtime game of the year. Uh, unfortunately, this is the first time we didn't come out on a victorious end. What was Dawson Odom's thoughts after the game? Well, there were some plays out there on that field that we could have made that could have decided the outcome of that football game in regulation. Uh, you can't spot teams, you know, that kind of point differential uh, in the beginning. You know, we down 24 to 14, go down 31 to 14. It's hard to overcome that kind of deficit in a football game. But in the end, you know, hey, we, we gave great effort. We came up short. We had a chance to win the game. 
Uh, we came up short. We didn't get it done. And, you know, I'm sad for the alumni because we had a great crowd on campus. And, you know, it's just great to come back and close out your weekend with a win for homecoming. When we come back, we'll look at our Cox Players of the Week and more on the Jaguar Football Show. Stay with us. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. When you shop for health insurance, you'll find Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana everywhere. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. We got a blue for Louisiana, we got you covered. Lake Charles, North Brown, Chandelier. From Venice to Vidalia, by World too. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. Every parish, every zip code. We got a blue. They rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. We're a Jerry Lane family. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show, where each week we come to you from the Bontemps Bar and Grill, located at 8342 Perkins Road. Of course, we invite you to come out, join Coach and I, and talk a little Southern University football. Coach, jumping back into it, it's time for our Cox Players of the Week, brought to us by the good folks at Cox Communications. Who are the Cox Players of the Week for offense, defense, and special teams? Well, offensive player of the week was uh, Randall Menard, a young freshman who had an outstanding football game. Uh, defensively was Franchot West, who, who totaled 17 tackles, and Demetrius Carter, who blocked two uh, punts as our uh, special teams player of the game. There you have it, the Cox Players of the Week. Coach, four, se a four game season, Texas Southern this Friday, Alabama State next week, Clark Atlanta, then the Bayou Classic against Gramlin. We sit atop the SWAC West at a, with a 4-2 and two record, one game up on PV. Did you see us at this position coming into the season? Well, exactly. You know, I thought we had a decent football team coming back, you know, but we started at the beginning of the year. You saw us falter a little bit, but once we got into a conference play, you're able to see what kind of football team we have. We, right now, we're sitting at 500. We control our own destiny. We got a big game uh, this Friday against Texas Southern. So, you know, if we go down there and take care of business, we'll get one step closer to our ultimate goal. Coach, after the game, Joe Dupree caught up with Randall Menard, our freshman star of the night, and he filed this report. That's right, Todd. We're here for homecoming 2013, A.W. Mumford Stadium. Disappointing loss tonight as our Southern University Jaguars didn't come out victorious in overtime, 44 to 38 against the Alcorn Braves, but there was a bright light. Yes, there was. Mr. Demetrius Carter from Chicago. Man, what brought you to Southern University? Um, academics and football. You did great on the field. Two block punts that were returned for touchdowns. Tough loss. How you feel about that? Uh, I feel bad. Tough loss. It's a big game homecoming, but we can't let this one affect the next one. We got a short week. We got a game on Friday. We got to go out there and win that one. 
Speaking of that, what do we need to do to tighten it up? Because we do take on Texas Southern Friday in Houston to make what happened tonight not happen at Texas Southern. Well, we got to tighten up all three phases of the game, special teams, uh, offense, and defense. It was a little, some holes here and there. We made good, some good plays on defense. We made some big plays on offense, but we just got to be a little bit more consistent and finish off the games. Great game. Once again, you heard it right here on the Jaguar Football Show. Oh, it's funny. Thank you, Joe. And uh, thank you, Demetrius Carter. I'm sorry, folks, that was not Randall and Art. That was Demetrius Carter. We're at the two big blocks. When we come back, we'll have more on the Jaguar Football Show. Stay with us. Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autograph Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you, like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There is just one thing missing from our Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Jaguar football show. At this point in the show, we'll do our Jaguar question of the week where you can actually enter your question on the Facebook page uh, and then we'll ask one question each week. This week's question comes from Art Dubrell. Coach, he wants to know, what is the scenario for the Jags to win the Western Division and play for the SWAC championship? Well, we just got to take care of business one game at a time. You know, we get a win against Texas Southern. That'll put us one step closer to reaching that destination. And right now we're in front. We got a two-game lead technically on, on PV. So, you know, in order for them to overtake us, we will have to lose uh, two games. So we're in the driver's seat. All we got to do is take it one game at a time and take care of business. Coach, our second Friday game of the year against Texas Southern this Friday at 8 p.m., what do we know about Texas Southern this year? Well, we know they have a new quarterback that's been playing, another elusive quarterback. Seems like every week we're facing quarterbacks that can uh, run the football. A uh, young football team, but they got some receivers that can make some plays. Got a great running back back there that's coming into his own and a decent offensive line. Defensively, they're very sound. They'll give you some multiple looks, uh, play a lot of cover three, play some cover four, and really blitz you a lot. So it'll be interesting to see how we hold up, but we got to get off to a better start if we want some success in Texas. Coach, 
SWAG Championship game still in our sights. What do you do to get your team to stay hungry and focused on the goal is still there? Well, we just got beat, so you know the focus is on Texas Southern, and I know that we got a hungry football team that's eager to get back to winning ways. When we come back, we'll wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show. Stay with us. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. When you shop for health insurance, you'll find Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana everywhere. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. We got a blue for Louisiana, we got you covered. Lake Charles, North Brown, Chandelier. From Venice to Vidalia, by Oak too. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. Every parish, every zip code. We got a blue. They rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. We're a Jerry Lane family. to the Jaguar football show. Of course, Jaguar Nation, we want to remind you that this Saturday's, this weekend's game is actually on Friday. Uh, and it is at, I think, BBVA Stadium, a stadium that Texas Southern shares with the pro soccer team there in Houston. So make sure you get your tickets. It's at 8 o'clock. It's not a 7 o'clock game. And again, I think it's BBVA Stadium. So get over there, support the Jags, and as always, Coach, Go Jags! <laughs> Thank you.